G'day. Well, it's review time again. So, like I promised, we're gonna look at the AC70 in full off-grid situation. So we've been, so we've set up camp, we're gonna be spending four days full off-grid. We're gonna give the AC70 a really good run. It's gonna be running the fridge 100% of the time. Plus, we're gonna give it a few extra loads and see how it goes with a few little extra surprises. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Right, oh, what a spectacular morning it is today. This is day one of uh, the AC70 Blue Eddy testing on a four day off grid camping setup. So we've got nothing but our Blue Eddy 200 watt solar panel, which we already know is an incredible unit. Just the way it packs up, the design of it, and the power output is pretty good. We're going to be solely running the, uh, the little Waco fridge from the Blue Eddy. Plus all the kids are going to be using it to, to charge all their small appliances. On top of that, throughout the weekend we're going to give it some uh, hard testing. We're going to give it a little coffee machine for a little bit of luxury out in the uh, campsite. We actually brought it out half charged and ran the fridge all day with no solar yesterday. Just to try to get it right down to almost nothing. To see how it's going to, see how it's going to do. See how it's going to charge, see how it's going to run pretty much from a zero state. So what we got it down to was 20% from our first morning kickoff. We're already up to 29%, it's only about an hour into it, so it's looking pretty good so far. Right, oh, what a cracker of a morning. We've just seen the sunset come up. Beautiful spot out here. Now, the Blue Eddy's done really well throughout the night. It's had the Waco going all night, and we're down to 70% after fully charged yesterday, so it's pretty impressive. It's time to really give this Blue Eddy a good test, and we're gonna try and make a coffee on a coffee machine and see how it performs. Let's give it a crack. Righto, so there you have it. We've been able to add a little bit of luxury to camping with the Blue Eddy coffee machine, frothed milk. I think we've got some pretty happy customers being able to sit out and look over the water. What a ripper. So, pretty impressive. It's passed one of its major tests uh, for full 240 AC, so pretty cool. Right, eh? so the AC70 so far has performed incredibly well. It's day four and we've done a whole lot of stuff going on. So we've really pushed it with the old Waco fridge. Now it is an old fridge. It uses a stack more power than new modern ones and it really has performed really, really well. We've had it hooked up to the 200 watt Blue Eddy solar system that you saw us introduce a couple of videos ago. This thing has performed flawlessly the whole time keeping this Blue Eddy up and going. As you saw, we ran this Blue Eddy for nearly 10 hours with no power input on the old Waco fridge just to see how it performed kicking straight into gear. I wanted to really give this a hard test from the very beginning. And it ran the fridge, continued to run the fridge all night. The Blue Eddy 200 watt panel system came straight into play to 100% charge by about two o'clock in the afternoon. So it worked hard all day, but it was still running continuously so it hasn't failed and we've kept it running the whole time but there's a couple things on this Blue Eddy that we haven't told you about and haven't shared. You've heard all about the wake and the ergonomics and how easy it is and how portable it is but there's a few other little things that come into play with this little Blue Eddy and one of them is a mobile phone app. The cool thing about this Blue Eddy is you bring up this app and bam it tells you exactly how much power is coming in, how much power is going out all in this little app. On top of that, right at the bottom, it tells you how much power we've generated. So over this weekend, we've created two kilowatts of power just with this 200 watt panel. And it even tells you how much CO2 reduction we've saved. We've saved 1.92 kilos of CO2 reduction. Interesting fact. 
great little unit, this app. This app you can control it too, so you can turn on your AC and your DC, as well as monitoring things that are going on. So if you're a practical joker, and one of the kids have their lights or their phones charging on it, I can turn it off from here and shut them down. <laughs> Not that we're gonna do that to them. So righto, there you have it. This is the Blue Eddy AC70. 1000 watts of power, constant sine wave use, plus that 2000 watt uplift. Now that really came into play when we're using this with the coffee making machine out here. Just cracked over that 1000 watts of use, didn't slow it down, didn't stop it. On top of that, we're able to run a few extra little appliances, run the fridge non-stop, 24 hours a day. That has run non-stop, worked really, really well. We're also able to run a little shower pump off it, you know, for those extra little luxuries out of camping. But has this performed as expected? I think it's actually performed even better than I thought it would. It has not let us down. It has been really, really good. But there's always those little things that you're going to find that could be a bit of an issue. The main one for me was the power lead to the solar panel. It's just too short. It's not a big deal. You can just buy an extension lead or even make up an extension lead if you're really that clever, just to get that lead a little bit longer to move your panel right out in the sun so you can capture full sun at all times. So it's not a big deal. The other thing is I've had this outside the whole time. It's performed really well, but this one is not waterproof or dust proof. So, but I've seen Blue Eddy have already released a brand new Blue Eddy system that is completely waterproof and dustproof. And if you want to go down that line, pay a little bit extra and get a bigger unit that'll be really good for the outdoors. That's the Blue Eddy AC70 and the 200 watt Blue Eddy solar system. Has all worked really, really well, hasn't let us down. Now it's time to nearly get ready to pack up and head back out of here and head home and put this back into shed use. I hope that this has been a little bit helpful to you guys and until next time, thanks for watching.